and he has insinuated that kids should be left alone by the Pride Month stuff, which left alone, you know, why leave them alone if they're- WHAT THE FUCK?! Bro! I'm- hold up, I'm heated, I'm heated, I'm heated bro, I'm heated bro, I'm heated bro. Yo, welcome back to the show. Today, we got another reaction video, you guys sent me this one actually, and it's about the protests that were happening in Glendale, California, I believe. And it's about the LGBTQ and the kids, and you already know the indoctrination of our- of our youngins, so we're gonna go ahead and react to this. Apparently, I don't really watch this dude, but I guess he's he's a soy boy. So we're gonna see his take on this. Probably gonna be some some bullshit, but you know we gotta we gotta react to both sides. We can't just be like, oh, red pill, fuck woman, money. No, we gotta we gotta see you know the stupid liberal side as well. You know we we gotta give equal rights. Hey everybody. So recently there were some protests in Glendale, California that turned violent. These protests were over the Glendale school board's vote on whether or not to officially recognize Pride Month in Glendale schools. A video of these protests was posted on Twitter, and then an esports broadcaster called MLG. Puckett quote tweeted the video writing, this happened four blocks from my Overwatch League apartment. Americans are in a sad place right now. Let people love who they love and live your own life. Then Nick Merckx, who's a pretty influential Call of Duty. Let people live their own life, but you're over here forcing it on fucking kids, teaching kindergartners about fucking and anal sex in elementary school and all this shit. What? Yeah, live your own life, but why do you gotta put dicks all over the school in front of our little kids? I don't understand that, bro. I don't care if you're gay. Like, dude, girlfriends that I've had have been bisexual. I know it's like, oh, that's biased because it's only girls. Okay, yeah, you're right. It probably is fucking biased. But point is, I'm not against it, right? Why the fuck do you have to flex that on people, right? Even if the mother of my child likes women as well, I'm gonna keep that away from my child. I think you need to raise your kids with just the mom and the dad. Any other bullshit... Keep it away from them. Like, what the fuck? This is the core principles that this nation was built on. Generations of our world were built on. So we need to just keep it going because this new generation rainbow flag teachings has not been tested. It fucking hasn't. And just with the few years that it has been tested, it's gone fucking horrendous. Fuck off. And we're only 30 seconds in. I'm already fucking pissed, bro. Beauty streamer. He has over 7 million Twitch followers and 3 million YouTube subscribers. He responded to this tweet writing, They should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. So Nick faced some backlash for this tweet. A bunch of people responded to it with uh, criticisms. He also lost a brand deal with Call of Duty, his operator skin. Bro, you guys literally you guys go around shooting people in the game, like blowing up these little fucking villages in the game, right? Because of like PTSD bullshit. But you guys are over here canceling him because he said, stop training our kids. It's fuck Call of Duty. That's why your games have been shit ever since Black Ops 2. Like, which is basically like in Fortnite, you can, you can play like as Among Us. You can play as the Among Us. It's a promotional player thing. It was removed from the Call of Duty store, which will likely cost him, you know, good amount of revenue. I assume he makes commission or gets some kind of money from it because it's his face. But a lot of people, and I would argue far more people, at least as far as content creators go, they came out in support of Nick's post. You saw support from other major game streamers, some of whom publicly deleted the game in protest. That Call of Duty, Activision, made the decision to pull Nick Merckx's skin bundle off the game. So what I gotta do is uninstall the game. Number one, they either need to apologize publicly to him or reinstate his bundle in order for me to consider playing Call of Duty again. Many of his fans and followers shared his post in support and content creators from all realms of the internet made videos about this situation, most of which agreed with and supported his message. So today what we're gonna do is look at some of those videos and the arguments made within them and talk about why basically it's a bunch of bulls. It's a bunch of crap, okay? It's a bunch of babungus and we gotta cut it down. Before we talk about Nick specifically, we gotta back it up and give some context to the protests in Glendale. After all, his tweet only exists as a response to a video of that protest. So the narrative being presented by a bunch of content creators is that in Glendale, a bunch of concerned parents were protesting the LGBTQ influence in their schools. And then the radical leftist mob showed up and antifa all over the parents, antifa Ling Lee, all for the crime of defending their own children from indoctrination. Concerned parents were protesting against far left psychopaths. <laughs> Can I say psychopaths anymore? The concerned parents were then labeled anti-LGBTQ, yes. Respect other people's cultures and religions unless they go against- You know what's crazy? You you can't be LG, anti-LGBTQ, but you can be anti-Islam, anti-Christianity, anti-dumb boys. We don't say the religion on here, you know why. 
You can be anti all that fucking shit. But the moment you, you can burn. Listen, listen, listen. You can burn a fucking American flag. You could burn that shit to a crisp. Like the shit that our soldiers die for. George Washington and his fucking tr cherry tree. Was that Ben Franklin? I don't even fucking know. Point is, you can burn that shit. But the moment I burn an LGBTQ flag, oh, <laughs> dude, I'm going to fucking prison longer than Muhammad Ali when he invaded the fucking indoctrination draft of Vietnam. Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about. It's drag shows for kids. Parents were outside the school board meeting protesting against the heavily politicized and heavily LGBTQIA plus curricula. W, the female Ben Shapiro, bro. I love her, bro. She's too famous to me. I'll probably never meet her. But W, W her. W Ben Shapiro. Wife or not sister, whatever the fuck she is. Uh, that is being pushed in the school district. And these parents were met with left-wing protesters outside. Thought to be Antifa. I think most of them were probably Antifa. We're literally watching a video of parents and Glendale citizens defending themselves and their families against rabid militant members of Antifa who literally showed up to make this day violent. Brawls break out between parents and LGBT activists outside a school board meeting. Turned into fights between the predominantly Armenian community and activists. But the more interesting aspect is, it seems the activists are getting a lot of out-of-state support. And apparently some of the activists that were arrested outside that school don't even have kids that go to that school or even have their own kids. Where Andy Noe reports, one of the activists arrested actually had been arrested before involving a crime against a kid. So first of all, what none of these videos mention is the fact that there were far-right agitators present at these protests. Agitators with histories of starting violence at protests. Let's meet some of those boys. Tony Moon, a self-described Christian patriot and Antifa hunter. He was there. Hey, Tony. He was also present at the January 6th riot. In August of 2021, he was filmed attacking a journalist at an anti-vaccine protest while yelling, unmask them all. Unmask them, hell yeah! I can't say more than that because this will get the video taken down, but yes, unmask our fucking children, bro. That's all I'm saying. Unmask them! Unmask them! Unmask them! If he did attack them again, I'm not, I'm not like supporting him attacking people, but yes, unmask our children. Lovely guy, basically. Hey, Tony. Real quick, okay, I'm editing right now, but I just noticed the sign this lady's holding in this video of Tony. No hate, God made man and woman, don't confuse our kids. In case anyone was wondering if these people are homophobic. Next one of our big boys, Josh Fulfer. How the fuck is that homophobic? God, dude, it's even if you don't believe in God, biology, science, there is men and women. We have different chromosomes, right? You don't got to be whatever you want to believe in, right? Maybe you're not a fucking a Catholic Protestant, whatever. Point is, there's still man and woman. Like, why is this even a debate? Like, these atheists are like, I don't believe in a God, therefore I can be a unicorn. What the fuck are you talking about? Again, atheism has zero answers. This is why I'm f I'm fence sitting. Why? Right? If you're watching this ten years from now, let's see where I'm at. But right now, I'm fence sitting on Islam. Point is, atheism has no answers. They lead to shit like this over here, saying homophobic. If there's only man and woman, that's what there is. I'm sorry, bro. That's that's what life is. It's funny. I got in a debate with some dude on Omegle. He's over here. Oh, there's a transgender line. Like, what the what the actual fuck? Wolfer, who's a far-right live streamer who traveled over 200 miles from Fresno to film the Glendale protest. He dressed in an end trans terror t-shirt. Here he is pictured with Devin Nunes a while back flashing the white power symbol, which is an okay sign. But at the time, it was being used as a dog whistle by the far right. It was a trolling thing. And if that sounds like far left wacko nonsense to you, uh, check out this article about that situation. I'll leave it linked in the description. Adam Kiefer, who's a trucker from Southern California with a well-documented links to the Proud Boys, although he has denied being a member, which I love that, you know, he just goes to the rallies wearing the merch. Why is it so wrong to have white pride? But I can walk around saying, oh, I'm a black owned business. I'm a black this, I'm a black that. Even, even Latino, like I'm a Latino heritage, all this bullshit. The moment I want to be proud of my white heritage, it's racist, it's a problem, I'm a slave owner like bro it's fucking stupid like i love my white people i love my white girls i what's up
merch, but not as a member, as as a fan. <laughs> he's not a proud boy. He's just a proud, proud boy's stan. In April, Kiefer was filmed outside a Chino Valley school board meeting calling a photographer, Kelly Stewart, a series of slurs, including slur loving, demon beep, beep boop. You do don't take away my money. You did it to me last week and I'm so, so sad. Everyone go to my Patreon. Do you have kids that go to the school? Do you have kids that go to the school? Pet Get the phone out of my face before I smash it on the ground. You're violating the restraining order right now. You're looking at these people right here. So all of these guys were there. And so all the complaints about Antifa members showing up from out of town without kids in the district apply to these far right freakos. But curiously, none of these videos mention them at all. This allows for them to falsely frame the narrative as a conflict between innocent concerned parents and left wing violence making bad guys woke. Woke, 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 woke. And well, okay, so they were outside agitators on both sides then? Well, not really, because if we look to the parent side of things, the reality is made clear. The group of parents protesting, the ones wearing the Leave Our Kids Alone t-shirts, is a group organized by a far-right activist. This is Jordan Henry, who's been causing a ruckus in these meetings since he moved to Glendale in 2021. He's shown up at these meetings to complain about cultural Marxism, the LGBTQ agenda, and anti-white racism. He was the one who filed a records request for 1,300 documents from the district, which eventually led to a teacher being transferred out of the district over concerns. How is that far right extremism like why the fuck are you showing third graders gay pride videos like bro you're supposed to be teaching them fucking their multiplication latex table whatever the fuck that shit's called you're right she she should have been fired like what the fuck listen bro anything that does not align with this training of our kids is seen as right extremist so you know you know what i am a right extremist it doesn't matter if i support abortion right or if i support even gay marriage if i don't want my kid to get his genitals chopped off i'm a right extremist go trump 2024 you know the vibes like what the fuck dude yeah but get, get this bitch out of the school like come on stop being a teacher you don't deserve it this is why my kids are never going to fucking public school all 12 of my kids all fucking 12 of them from my four beautiful wives are not going to public school they're going to be homeschooled they're going to be around millionaires kids Right, because I'm not having kids, so I'm, I'm a millionaire. You know what I mean? But all 12 of them, they're just going to be at home with tutors while my four wives make them food. So that's what you got to do now because you can't, if you take your third graders to a public school, they're going to watch gay pride videos. It burns for her safety. Henry also has a YouTube channel with 200 subscribers where he sings about the perils of wokeness. It's pretty funny, to be honest. Here's his hit single, American Commie Demo, with 135 plays across all platforms. American Commie, yeah. Give me some bell hooks. Tell me now all whites are crooks. I'm not making fun of a small creator for being small, by the way. I'm just proud that I found this content. And would you believe- Nah, even I'm a small creator, bro. What the- f I was supporting this right- right-wing extremist till I, I saw that shit. What- that shit was gay. What- what the fuck? <laughs> that there weren't parents there that disagreed with the initiative. There were, but they were undeniably influenced by a right-wing activist, and crucially, they were a very small minority in the district. Out of the 50 parents who spoke at the actual meeting, only three of them voiced disagreement with the initiative to recognize Pride Month. The school board ended up voting unanimously in favor of the initiative as they have for the past five years. But you wouldn't know that if you watched any of the media coverage from these all these goobers. Okay, so now with that context established, let's return to our gamer boy, Nick Merckx. So one argument I'm seeing repeated around his defense is basically, Nick was punished for merely stating his opinion. His opinion is innocuous and most sensible, normal people would agree with it. It wasn't even about Pride Month or Call of Duty even, even. It's about letting kids be kids. But at least in my opinion, Nick Merckx really didn't do anything worthy of a cancellation at all. He really just put his opinion out there about a news topic in a little video clip and now it's likely cost him millions of dollars. Companies are so deathly afraid of the woke mob putting them in their cross. See, this is why you have to stay true to yourself from the beginning, right? If I wanted to sell my soul to Satan, right? I probably have a lot more subscribers than I do now, but I don't want to do that. I want to stay true to myself. So all 1200 of you watching are incel assholes like me. I'm not the incel, you guys are. But point is, I love you guys, but you guys are incels. All of you guys know I'm a fucking piece of shit asshole, misogynist, homophobic, 
race all this shit i don't gotta lie you guys support me right everyone watching this video and gives it a like and gives me even if you comment hate guess what you still watch the dumb fuck all right so i don't have to worry about obviously if i talk about too deep things i'll get canceled and probably erased from this world so i'm gonna stay off some certain topics especially like nelk right why is nelk still relevant and they're fucking assholes they talk all this shit because they've always been douchebags and i love i love nelk right i mean i'm a douchebag too here's the thing this woke shit it, it doesn't exist anywhere else but like in america in england like bro when you go to Colombia, that's where i'm from like dude all these people laugh at you 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 think being a simp is gonna get you girls in Colombia? news for you all this liberal nonsense like Nobody lives life like that except you Americans because you have nothing else to do. You're on the couch being fat, lazy pieces of fucking shit. Crosshairs that they dare not allow parents to have opinions about their own kids. To celebrate pride, we silenced him from saying something that wasn't offensive. But it might be construed as offensive to the few people on Twitter that are mentally unhinged. 1% 1 of the population, by the way, it's not... All these people, like, it's 1% of the fucking population that we have to fucking cater to. The overwhelming majority of people don't see an issue with Nick's tweet. Because he didn't do anything but give an opinion that ain't even crazy. This is what they're calling anti-LGBT now. Activision removes Nick Merck's Call of Duty bundle after controversial Pride Month comments? He didn't make any comments about Pride Month. He just said that children should not be exposed to content why is that a comment on pride month the opinion that nick expressed is unbelievably innocuous and it's one that even gay and lesbian people themselves express however yes you are correct it is 2023 we live in hell we are on the hell gondola and activision took it upon themselves to punish a streamer for expressing an opinion that does not relate to them so this is the coward's argument just playing dumb and acting as if he just tweeted out you know i hate pedophilia pedophilia is bad and then the woke mob swooped in and took away his second amendment call of duty rights or whatever it's bull and it's silly he's responding directly to a controversy about pride month the context of the tweet specifically he's responding to is a pro pride month tweet and he has insinuated that kids should be left alone by the pride month stuff which left alone you know why leave them alone if they're what the fuck bro I'm, hold up. I'm heated. I'm heated. I'm heated, bro. I'm heated, bro. I'm heated, bro. I actually know it's cold. Let me, let me flex for the camera real quick, but I'm gonna put it back on because I'm cold. Yo, bro, like, I didn't even come here to talk shit about this dude, but what do you mean, why leave the kids alone? Like, what? I'm, what the fuck? Hold up. I gotta, I gotta collect myself so I can give a, a smart response to this. First of all, I want to say I do not support Pride Month at all. I mean, you guys can tell by my channel and you, you know I don't, right? Maybe some people do. Okay, whatever. They get a whole month. Our veterans get one day. Whatever, right? But to say that we should just not leave the kids alone. Like, what? you know what's crazy? In Florida, they banned uh, kids from going to like those drag shows or whatever. And then they're like, oh, well, we can't have them anymore. Why can't you be gay with adults? Like, why, why are the kids your main target? Like, what's next? A grinder for kids? <laughs> like, what's, tell me, tell me what is next because this world is going to absolute shit. Here's the thing, bro, I don't even know this dude. He's probably going to roast me as you see this. Probably, he probably won't even see this because this dude has like half a million subs. But point is, the the fact that you said why leave the kids alone it's fucking it's disgusting it's disgusting that's all i have to say because this kid's shit it's gonna root to, watch when they say minor attracted people it's gonna root to it if there isn't some harm being caused there right and what is harm it is, harm is chopping off your eight-year-old kids back like, what the fuck? What do you mean, the harm? Harm mean in this context? Well, it depends on who you ask, but for the majority of these right-wing figures, harm means making the kids gay and trans, transifying and gayifying the kids. They're talking about indoctrination. This cowardly framing that he's just sharing his opinion, oh, that's all it is, also ignores the larger context of the wave of anti lg See, all these, here, here's the difference between me and these half-ass, like, um red pillars i am not sharing my opinion i am sharing my beliefs okay and let me let me explain to you opinion is like oh i mean i think gay people sh no i'm straight up like no 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 okay i'm not over here 
Well, everyone should think for the- No! My- No, 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 bitch! Like, the fuck? Protect trans youth. I don't need permission to exist. Listen, bro, if my son- And I use the son example because it's the, it's the heaviest burden on a father. Because obviously, like, if we're being honest, fathers, their most prized possession is their legacy of their son, right? They love their daughters, but let's just be realistic here. If my son wants to be trans, I'm gonna tell him to fuck off. But once you turn 18 and you're a grown ass man, carry the legacy how you want. But while you're in my house, underage, you gotta follow what I tell you, right? I'm the leader of the house. Until you become the man, I am the man. I'm gonna raise my kids how I was raised because I came out pretty fucking good. At least I think. I'm I'm a, I'm a little kook like Alex Jones, but I mean, other than that, I think I came out just right. LGBTQ rhetoric and legislation and protests that have been happening in this country for a while. There have been thousands of school board protests. Many of them end up looking like this. It's being used as a culture war wedge issue. Thankfully, you know, it's a kind of a losing battle as we saw in the midterms. It doesn't really translate to votes, just culture war bullshit. But they are waging that war and it is disrupting the education process and that's bad. They are here feigning ignorance, acting like they don't know what they do know uh, in order to defend Nick. Because Nick is saying what they believe, he's just saying it on a huge platform in a way that gar- He is saying what Allah fucking said. Men and women, men and women bear one child. Not men and men, not women and women. Again, I support free will. You're a man, you love a man. Cool. Cool, but my son will not be gay. <laughs> like, fuck off, dude. Garners God. him plausible deniability. I just don't think it's any place for a teacher or a school. I don't think it's the place to speak about things like that. It's not that I think that it shouldn't be spoken about. If that's what you got from that tweet, then you're just wrong. I don't have any quarrel with anybody in here. I don't have any quarrel with people on, on, on the internet. Um, it wasn't an anti- I have a lot of quarrels, bro. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I guess that wasn't what it was. Now listen, if you have issues with me or if you have issues with that- You know how you get can This is why you got canceled, bro. I'm, I'm gonna give you advice, even though I'm, I'm giving advice to like a streamer that's like 10 times bigger than me. Bro, stop admitting you're fucking wrong. Just own up to it. Like, bro, you know what, example, you know when your girl like catches you cheating, right? And, and most guys are like, oh no, no. Some excuse. Dude, just be, yes, I fucked her at the end. Are you staying or not? Like, just own up to what you say and you won't get canceled. Like, this is, fu it's ridiculous. That tweet, then hey, listen, I'm down to agree to disagree. That's fine. We can agree to disagree. But if you think that I hate you because you're, you're a certain way, you just couldn't be any more wrong. I, 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 I do not feel that way. I just simply feel that I want to be the one and my wife wants to be the one to speak with our child about stuff like that. I don't hate gay people, you know? I just don't think that their existence or lives should be acknowledged in any way whatsoever in public. Not until everyone in the room is a legal adult. It really sucks for my kids if they're gay. They won't be able to talk about it until they're legally old enough to get kicked out, which would never happen unless they were gay. So the next argument I wanna look at is the more mask off one. <laughs> Nick is right, okay. they say. The kids should be left alone. By that, we mean leave the LGBTQ stuff out of schools entirely. Let the parents handle it because the gay agenda is harming kids. It is children kids should not be exposed to adult content at all regardless of orientation or whatever yes i think i even think porn porn should be fucking banned like porn is for fucking losers bro like all types of sexual content ban that shit bro and they're like what about you know when they show men and women getting married in uh disney because that's fucking beautiful that is beautiful that is how allah created us yes that's beautiful the other way around Cool, it, I think it's from Shaitan, but you know what, do, do you, but it's not fucking beautiful, straight up. I think kids should not be involved to sexual content. Nick Merckx simply stated, I want to raise my baby how I feel best. So some employees from Activision Blizzard, in a rush to punish anyone who dare challenge their narrative, somehow aligned a billion dollar company with fringe activists that are willing to travel state to state to get into physical conversations with parents to ensure they can show kids adult material. To start off, notice how they're grouping in all these examples of other controversies that are totally unrelated to the Glendale thing. Adult material, books with sex in them, sexual content, a bunch of weird, scary gay stuff. And it's not- Shout out to the Glendale protesters because I saw that it, there was some like Muslims in Christianity, right? I know we have our differences, uh, you guys, you Christians watching this, but we came together and we fought the fucking devil.
Okay, yeah, I said it, I said it. Not, you know, a rainbow flag and some lessons about the Stonewall riots. That's the propaganda working full. And I'm not ho homophobic, my, my, uh, my bitch is gay. I'm there, grouping it all together and saying, wow, this is so scary and bad, let's exterminate it. Famously, this has never caused any problems as a form of propaganda against a minority. Okay, but for this one, let's do a little thought experiment, right? Let's say that we enforce this on a national scale, banned by federal mandate any discussions of LGBTQ issues in schools and then applied this rule to all parents. They will teach it and not the school. The question then arises, what if they're homophobic? It's not about it in schools, bro. I, you want to talk about it, make the debate for high school? Okay. Well, why elementary? You shouldn't even talk politics in fucking elementary. These kids are, these kids can barely wipe their fucking ass. That was crazy. I, I don't want to say names because I'll get this person in trouble and I love them really dear close to me. Someone I know is a teacher, right? Saw that there's LGBTQ books in her preschool, her fucking preschool. Explain to me why those books are there. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys uh think about that one. But haram. What if the parents are transphobic or homophobic? And worse yet, what if the kids of those parents happen to end up being gay or trans? One major reason for a curriculum that acknowledges the fight for LGBTQ rights throughout history and celebrates Pride Month is to normalize these things so that the kids that fall into these- It's not, it's not normal. This is 1% of the population. It's not normal. That's like saying PTSD and schizo and all these crackheads is normal. Should we normalize homelessness? No, because it's not the majority of the fucking population. Like, this is not normal. Okay, whether you want to say it's right or wrong, okay, subjective morality if you're a dumb atheist again. The point is... It's not normal. That's why it should be allowed. I don't think people should be shunned for being gay, but it's not fucking normal. So let's call it for what it is. It's not even I admit, I admit this myself because I'm over here doing haram ass fucking shit with hello girls. I admit that's not fucking normal. It's not, I admit bro. Like at least I own up to it. So why don't these LGBTQ people own up to their fucking mistakes? These categories can grow up knowing that they're not alone and that it's okay for them to be who they are and that they should fight for that against these harmful forces of social conservatism. If these curricula are banned, the result will be that some parents will lock their kids away until they're ready to be taught that gay people yes, exist. Yes, yes, lock your kids. Put your kids in the fucking basement with a a fucking a tutor, a female, right? Never, never have a male tutor that's fucking haram. Someone's gonna clip this, it's gonna come out so bad. But yes, keep your kids away in a private school or at home school, right? Do not let your kids out into this westernized world. They will grow up as fucking thugs. Exist. I know that made no sense. Which only serves to harm these kids, contribute to an environment of repression and shame, which is, you know, bad. I hope you think it's bad because it's pretty sort of objectively bad. Because he wants to be the person to teach his kids about this very important issue that is very personal, that is very intimate. He does not want to leave that in the hands of schools, which should not be a crazy extremist take. But the more important thing- You guys, you guys remember when you asked your teachers, oh, who did you vote for? They wouldn't even answer it. And nowadays they're like, Biden, Biden, Biden. <laughs> the times have changed so fucking bad. Fuck! here is that even if a lot of parents end up teaching their kids about these things, what sort of message is that sending to gay and trans kids? That their lives and existence must be hidden from view and can't be spoken about openly or represented in their schools, their community. No, it means that they're the exception. They're not normal, but they're the exception. They should be loved as every other human being but you're not normal and you need to acknowledge that. And maybe you'll change, maybe you won't, but acknowledge what reality is, sir. Communities that they spend the majority of their time in. Straight kids are not treated this way for their sexuality. And the reason for that is, you know, uh, you know the reason. The last thing I wanna comment here is how extreme of a dynamic this creates when people make this argument. Any critique of Nick's tweet is being interpreted by these people as a pet as grooming. All Nick said was leave the kids alone. If you don't like that, you must not want the kids to be left alone. You must be a groomer. Regardless of orientation or- Yes, exactly. What the fuck? I do find it very strange when people will take the opposing position to mine. Like, I'm sorry, but I can't help but feel like you're some kind of freak if you disagree with that statement. He did not say anything about the LGBTQ plus community. He just said, 
leave the children alone, which should be a statement that everybody can get behind. It used to be a statement that people could get behind. That was a line that we drew in the sand as a culture, as a society, that is no more. When Call of Duty removes Nick's skin from the shop, it's because Call of Duty are is a bunch of grooms. This is what makes it such compelling propaganda to a lot of people, is that to the uninitiated, this is a settled debate. Grooming is bad, and if you're okay with grooming, then you might be a groomer too, which ignores this false and bigoted premise that that has anything to do with LGBTQ rights. It's age old propaganda. They've been doing this for a long ass time. It's always been a lie. But if you're unaware of that history, if you're unaware of how this has been used against these communities, then you'll go on your stream and defend this kind of rhetoric. Because because you don't know any better and you no. because this is what Allah gave us okay what do you mean don't know any better this is what I believe this is what 99% of the fucking world believes you fucking Los Angeles soy boys believe in fucking witchcraft all this Ouija board shit the fucking Charlie Charlie pencil stitch old bullshit okay there's some people actually I, I don't even say 99% anymore I feel like 99% of the world is like kooks like these okay? it's now 1% of people like me who still have fucking moral fucking values or playing games all day you don't really care not gamer shaming there I'm gamer with a big platform promoting homophobia shaming a little different the last argument I want to go over is an interesting one because it's sort of accidentally Marxist a few people brought up the fact that in some countries Activision removed the pride flags from the Call of Duty item store and that this represents a lack of consistent principles they don't really care about gay rights so the argument goes because well, of course they don't they only care about making money how do you make money in the u.s by pretending you care about gay people how do you make money in middle eastern countries by acknowledging that uh all this shit is a scam <laughs> like well, of course they don't okay thank you for pointing the fucking obvious it's just here in the u.s where we have free speech it shouldn't be that way but you know what i'm gonna I'm give him a w for that because that is true if that's a way for them to make money here Fuck you for doing it, but I mean, A, that's your right. Because if they did, they'd keep the flags in the game uh, in every region. They'd stick to their value. Ironically, it's also been shown and proven that Call of Duty censors all the LGBT pride stuff in the Middle East, which proves that all of this is performative. Call of Duty Warzone, Modern Warfare, and Warzone 2 censored its Pride Month flags in the Middle East. They replaced the flags with blacked out images. If Blizzard and these other gaming companies actually cared about this group of people, they would never host something in a country that goes against all of their values. They just wouldn't even do business with them. Now, Activision's statement about Nick's skin removal, ouch, might lead one to believe that they do have some Call of Duty getting that oil money, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Principles regarding Pride Month. They do have LGBTQ employees, probably, and they definitely have LGBTQ members of their player base. At the very least, some principle is represented here in their decision. Yo, if I had a biz if I had a business, I'm not I'm not hiring any of these libtard LGBTQ socialist feminine. No, I'm hiring hard working men, right? Man, 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 not even women, bro. Because women are fucking lazy. Not all of you, but most of you. Okay? I mean, and I wouldn't I wouldn't even hire American men. I'd, I'd hire I'd hire kids from Africa because these 12 year old kids in Africa work harder than half of you fat fucks sitting watching this dude's video saying that yes, they should kids. Like, bro. Decision to cancel the promotion of one of their biggest streamers because of his tweet. But ultimately, any principle that they may have towards inclusivity will always be trumped by the principle of profit. They are a games company looking to sell games. If their marketing team has determined that pride flags will lose them money in some regions, pride flags will be gone in those reasons. That's just the way it is. This accusation is an attempt to point out hypocrisy. You know, abide by your principles, you bigot. But it rings hollow because in both of these cases, Activision is not breaking their principles. They're not contradicting themselves. They are adhering to the logic of capitalism. Okay, so now let's try to answer the question, is Nick Merckx a bigot? He said on his stream that he doesn't- I am. I, I am. I am. I am. <laughs> Fuck, dude hate members of the LGBTQ community. He just wants to teach his own kids about them. Uh, it's his kid, let him teach him how he wants. And the thing is, one doesn't have to say, I hate gay people in order to support a movement 
that hates gay people. All it takes in this case is entering into a tense political debate about human rights and making a statement that associates a group of people with grooming, that insinuates that children are being harmed by this movement. In his tweet, he is making the same argument that's been made about the LGBTQ community for decades, that these kids aren't being left alone and that they should because bad stuff will happen if they aren't. That their existence, um, in this case, the existence and acknowledgement of Pride Month, wow, that's such a crazy thing. This should all be hidden from view and relegated to the confines of- Yes, hidden from view, send that shit to the back of fucking Target, bro. That's where it fucking belongs, not in the front where all the Reese's Puffs are. Fuck off, dude. Your own home. That is bigotry. And whether Nick meant it that way or not, that is what he is- W bigotry. Tacitly endorsing when he enters into this conversation without really having the full context. And yeah, you know, that's, I think that's bad. Listen, you, you dumb fucks, come here, come, come, come closer. I'm gonna I'm get closer. You dumb fucks that sent me this video, knew what you were doing, knew I was gonna get pissed, and I love you. I love you because this made great content. Um, yeah. If you guys like this video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Stop, stop grooming our kids, bro. Like, I'm sorry that it offends you that I, I don't want our kids to be groomed by these rainbow fuckers. But hey, but it's, it's, it's haram. It's haram. It's haram. It's haram. Peace, guys.